Sandwich clay mixed with straw and on the outside even some horse manure. The walls of this house are made of so-called carp, a mixture that is all natural. Weston Lombard built this house and even lived in it for a year, making certain sacrifices. It was definitely a life, a lifestyle house. I, uh, I don't have the internet down here and I have to bucket water from a spring. I have to go to the bathroom in a five gallon bucket. But besides being slightly less clean than everyone else, I was still able to, to fit in and function in, in normal society. Now he and his fiance live in a cabin on the property because their jobs demand things like access to the internet. But his brother still lives in the cop house even during the winter. A small fireplace keeps the house warm. So how it works is as the fire burns, the air is traveling through there and is slowly being absorbed by the bench. After several hours of burning a fire, the whole bench becomes warm. And once the bench is warm, it heats the whole house. Everything in this house is made of natural or, or recycled uh, materials. In some fashion. Even this fabric is from a thrift store. Um, I didn't buy anything new except for the, the solar system. I got a good deal on a scratched panel. It took one and a half years to build the house. Lombard estimates that it cost $3,500. He wants to show people that it's easy to find everything a person needs in the area. Lombard, along with two friends, Lawrence Green and Molly Jo Stanley, founded an organization that tries to show people ways to use nature and preserve the environment. So I'm, I'm hoping to organize workshops, bring in experts on natural building and, and have sort of a demonstration site here on the farm. We're building another structure outside. It's a timber frame pavilion. But that'll be another teaching tool. Each of the little sites will be a demonstration site and teaching tool. A first workshop is set for March. It will not only focus on alternative living, but also gardening and renewable energy. Tina Kühne, WOUB News.